If you aren't on the Rapini train, what are you waiting for? Hop on! All aboard! Choo choo! So let's start with one bunch of washed and dried rapini. Cut up the stems, but not fully, maybe about an inch or two up from the bottom. You still want some stems for this dish. Now you can roughly chop or finely chop up the rapini, but I like to do a little bit of both. Starting at the stems, finely chop the rapini, and as you get closer to the top, where all the leaves are and the buds, that's where I roughly chop and have bigger pieces. And this is a nice contrast with the spaghetti, as the finely chopped will stick to the spaghetti, when making the sauce and the larger pieces will be twirled in your fork while eating. Once you're done chopping up the rapini, just add it to a bowl. Next, thinly slice two garlic cloves and just set those aside. I'm using canned cannellini beans for a quick and easy option, but still a great one at that. You could prepare from dried if you have the time, as it is the better option, I will admit. Drain and rinse the beans and then just place in a bowl and set aside. Finally grate about 80 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano and set that aside. Now it's time to get cooking. In a large pan on medium heat, add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Add your garlic, add the beans, and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper, and of course, chili flakes to taste for some heat. So as the beans cook and start to soften a little bit, they're gonna get brown. What I like to do, and it's the trick of this recipe, is we're gonna mash half of the beans either with wooden spoon or fork. This is what makes this recipe. The mashed beans will help bring a nice creamy element to this dish. Bring the heat down to low and let's start the pasta. Salt a large pot of boiling water and add your pasta. As the pasta starts to cook, we will add one ladle of pasta water to the pan and add the rapini. At this point, we can bring the heat back up to medium. Season the rapini with salt and more freshly cracked pepper if you like. And now you can saute the rapini, moving it around as it starts to wilt. You can also cover with a lid and steam the rapini as well. Either way, continue stirring and mixing everything together. Just before adding the pasta, squeeze the juice of half a lemon, give a mix, and then add your pasta to the pan along with another ladle of pasta water. And of course, you know what time it is, La Mantecatura, mixing and tossing that spaghetti, forming a beautiful sauce, adding more pasta water if needed. Now we're gonna remove the pan from the heat or turn off the heat and add the Parmigiano Reggiano, a big handful at a time, mixing and tossing in between. And there we go, a beautiful dish. Time to plate it up, adding a couple spoonfuls of the sauce on top. Finish with more Parmigiano Reggiano if you like and bring it to la tavola. This is delicious. I love rapini, always have, always will. And if this doesn't get you on the train, well, I'll be knocking on your door. And don't forget to mash those beans. It adds nice creaminess to the overall pasta dish. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.